Have you had enough of the bad news? With all of the horrible deaths over Christmas from Christmas trees burning and people being ran over by drunk drivers and crazy people stabbing folks at synagogues. Well, let's look at the more important news then, shall we? Snow globing is the awful new holiday dating trend. That's right, snow globing. It's kind of the anti-Hallmark reality. What does it say? It says snow globing is the latest dating trend to look out for this winter, and it happens when the magic of Christmas makes a relationship seem more serious than it is. Well, we've heard of all the cuffing seasons and where you find somebody to snuggle with over the colder months, only to dump them when the summer and your social life return. In contrast, snow globing refers to a much shorter period of time covering Christmas and New Year. Ho, ho, ho? No, no, no. It typically happens when you meet someone just before the festive season kicks off, <coughs> Hallmark movies, and your dates tend to include cozy Christmas markets and ice skating. <coughs> Hallmark! Mm, yeah. That's not to mention the work Christmas party and any New Year celebration planned. So if you read Salon.com, then you know this activity is fascist and heterosexual normative and is fascist. Because that's what they say about Hallmark movies, and that's what they're doing! Plus, if they end up getting you a present, it can send the wrong signals if it's just a fling. The magic of Christmas during the early stages of the relationship can trick people into thinking it's much more serious than it is. You know, if this whole snow globing thing actually makes it into the Hallmark movies, wow! This is why there's no sequels. Oi! Wait, there are sequels! Shh! Turns out you've just been snow globed if your bow or a girl dumps you in a heartbeat. So, oh, that's pretty. Now, what if you don't want to do snow globing? You're like, no, no, I want to have a good relationship. Well, then you should be aware of snow manning. It turns out snow manning is winter's heartbreaking new dating trend. Wait a minute. Didn't you just say a few days ago it was snow globing? No, 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 no. This is the newer new dating trend. Uh, how many times have you walked into a restaurant and actually seen this going on? This this is not an example of snowmanning. This is an example of 21st century addiction. And someday I will make a video about that and lose all my subscribers. They're like, wait a minute, how do you think we watch your channel? Forget ghosting. There's a new festive, new dating trend you need to look out for. And it has reportedly happened to over half of us. Really? I wonder if the author is speaking uniquely of themselves. Over half of us. Maybe they're multiple personality. You never really know. Snowmanning is the icy cold way of rejection where a new flirtation disappears once the Christmas period is over. Much like snow globing we've heard recently. The trend sees many signals. And, hmm, the trend sees many signals. Singles. I know how to read. The trend seems... The trend sees many singles taking inspiration from the 1982 animated film The Snowman. That would be the British one, where they're walking on the air. Here, after, show, uh, after sharing a day of fleeting fun and flying to the North Pole, and with his new friend, the snowman thaws to nothing but a distant, enchanting memory. Until you watch the three sequels which don't have the song, so they're not as good. According to eHarmony, 53% of those who take part in festive flirtation will become victims of snowmanning this season. How do they know they weren't snow globed? I want to know. Does eHarmony distinguish between snow globing and snowmanning? Because inquiring minds want to know. And men are slightly more likely than women, by 10%, to admit to having a short-lived romance. Interesting, it doesn't tell the cause, though. Rachel Lloyd, the relationship expert at eHarmony, she's an expert, I wonder how many times she's been right, says, Christmas is a time for celebration and presents. A great opportunity to socialize and find someone special, only to dump them into the snow and no one will find their body until spring. However, once the drinks stop flowing and decorations come down, ho, 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 no, 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 mo, mo, mo. Sometimes that initial burst of chemistry wears off. Ooh, I'm still with you. I'm gonna knock my arm off like your coyote ugly. You're, you're snowman ugly. 
Our research shows that lots of people then retreat from their new relationships, a trend we are coining snowmanning, Lloyd explained. Yes, it's kind of like those fans of the Jetsons you have, spacely sprockets, and across the street you have... Oh my gosh, what is across the street? Sprockets and... it's not widgets. Well, whatever, it's the competition with the same name. Uh, same idea. For those seeking meaningful connections, I'd suggest considering how compatible you are before launching into a Christmas cracker of a fling. Wow, this is so BBC. Because the snowman crackers, this is British. It may be on Fox News. This is British. That way, you'll avoid hopefully getting burnt, she said. Yeah, see, it's from the sun. From I think that's funny that the sun is the article they pulled snowmanning from. But that explains all the British references. So apparently, in the UK, it's snowmanning. And in the Americas, it's snow, glo snow globing. Hmm. Well, there you go. We do hope that your Christmas wasn't filled with snow globing and snowmanning in the derogatory way that we've now learned about. And since the holiday season's over, keep on chucking, keep on chucking. Ho, 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 some mo, mo, mo. And then when you get past New Year's, then should old acquaintance be forgot. Thanks for watching the video. If you'd like it, you can put, you can actually push a button that says you like it. If you if you want to share it and help the channel grow, we would appreciate that. And so would you if you like the channel. So there you go. See, it's mutually mutually works out. And we will talk to you in the future.